for problem number two on the exam, I made a claim that for numbers a, b, and c in the reals, a plus b over a plus c is equal to b, plus, b over c. So the, uh, the, a common student error is to cross out the a's as if it were multiplication and say this is equal to b over c. And so essentially we know that, or effectively we know that this is not true, right? We've done enough things in calculus and pre-calculus to know that this statement is not true in general, although it is true in some specific cases. And in particular, one of the homework problems was to verify that there do exist numbers that make this true. But in general, since this is a universal statement saying for all numbers or for numbers A, B, and C in the reals in general, this is true, the statement is definitely a false statement. This is a false statement. So as this is a universal statement, how do we prove that it is false? Well, we can prove that it's false by providing a counterexample. So notice if we let let's just choose some numbers out there that might make this work. Let's let a equal 1 and then let's b equal 2 and then just for convenience I'll let c equal 5. If we let a equal 1, b equal 2, and c equal 5, we see that a plus b over a plus c would be equal to 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 5, which would be equal to 3 over 6, i.e. 1 half. But on the other hand, on the right hand side, b over c would be equal to 2 over 5. However, 1 half, the object on the left hand side, does not equal 2 over 5. So this provides a counterexample to the given statement showing that it is definitely a false statement in general.